Hi friends, welcome to Foodie Corner with me Priya. Today I'll be showing a simple recipe of making bread pakodas without any potato fillings. To make these bread pakodas, we will need few slices of bread, some spicy coriander chutney, you can also take mint chutney. Some date tamarind chutney, tomato ketchup and if you want you can also take red chilli sauce. Spread some green chutney on a slice of bread. Spread some date tamarind chutney on the second slice of bread. Let's put some tomato ketchup on the third slice of bread. Once we have spread the chutneys and the sauce on the bread slices, let's stack the slices together. We have prepared one set of three layered sandwich. Now let's repeat the process and make few more sets of these sandwiches. I have prepared here 3 sets of the sandwiches. You can prepare as much as you want. Now let's wrap the sandwiches tightly with the help of some cling wrap. Once that's done, we will leave the sandwiches in the fridge for few hours. Say 3 to 4 hours is good enough. This will allow the sandwiches to set properly and will be easy while frying the pakoras. Just before taking out the bread from the fridge, let's make the chickpea batter by adding some chickpea flour, salt to taste, some chilli powder, some turmeric powder, few green chillies, few coriander leaves and some water. Let's combine and give it a good mix. Add more water so that we get a good consistency. We don't want the batter to be very runny as well so just make sure that the consistency is right. Now we have got a great consistency and our chickpea batter is ready. We will now remove the sandwiches which has been in the fridge for a few hours and it is nicely set. Now let's cut the sides of the bread. We have got a beautifully layered sandwich. Let's cut this sandwich into 4 pieces. So here we have 4 small square pieces. You can cut them into small triangles as well. In a frying pan, add good amount of oil for deep frying the pakodas. Now dip the layered bread pieces into the chickpea batter. Make sure the batter is nicely coated on the bread pieces. Now drop this into the nice and hot oil. I am putting two bread pieces at a time. Depending on the pan size, you can put as many as you want. But make sure that it does not stick to each other. Turn the bread pieces carefully so that it gets fried evenly. Fry the pakodas till they look nice and crispy. Once they are ready, transfer them into a plate. Look so crispy. And with all the chutneys and sauces, it gives a great combination of sweet, spicy and sour taste. Serve the piping hot bread pakodas with some chutney and tomato ketchup. Perfect snack for the holiday season.